Okay, back with a video, a how-to video. I'm going to show how I take the cars out of the blister and then reseal them back in the blister. So, hope it helps out with some of your customs. But first up, you need to get some acetone and get it at Walmart and wherever. Big fat paintbrush and a glass jar. Just take that and you go around the outside edge. You, know, you just go around the whole outer edge of everything. Get everything good and wet. Leave the top alone. Just get both sides and the bottom. Go around it all. Get it good and wet. Wait a few seconds and then you can flip the blister up, pour the car out, you can do a wheel swap, or you can, you know, do whatever you want to, put another car back in it, however you want to do it, but once you get done with your wheel swap, you put the car back in, back in the blister, once the car is back in the blister, I use this. This works best. If you use super glue, all the it will, all the fingerprints will show up on the car. The super glue will stick to all your fingerprints on the car, and it won't look that good once it's dry. So I found this works pretty good. Clear tacky gel. I picked this up at Walmart, but then you go around all your edges with the glue. Take clothes pins. Once you're done, I just I do my clothes pins like this, one on each side, two or three in the middle, depending on how many you need. Twenty four hours, it's dry. And then you have a car reset back in the package just like new. After the 24 hours, it'll, you know, with the wood swap and all, it'll look just like that. It'll be right back in the package. You know, close inspection until you got into the package. Otherwise, they really can't. So I hope that helps with some of y'all's customizing. And uh, until next time, thanks.